Uh, that's us, we're off. Love you. Love you, bye. Uh, let's make sure I've got everything. Beef, check. Bag, check. Other bags, check. Right, let's go. Oh crap, I haven't got the rubbish bag, one sec. Oh. Right, beef. So the being digital nomad things, the digital nomad family is great. But especially being in a motorhome, space obviously ain't massive, so today's one of those days where the weather's nice, Lisa's working, you don't want to be under her feet. Uh, so me and the beef are going out for the day. Thought it would be a good opportunity for us to show you where we've been staying for the last couple of weeks and where we're staying for another couple of weeks because we're up until the end of September. There's a place called Parenti San Born, it's near Biscarossi. Famous for pine trees and all that sort of stuff. And the campsite that one's called Labrador, which don't get fools, nothing to do with the dog. Something to do with golden trees or something to do with trees. Don't ask. Uh, so we're going to show you around throughout the day whilst me and the beef have some lads, lads, lads time. Lads, 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 lads. Can you say lads, 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 lads? No, no, we can't. So about a hundred yards down outside of our campsite brings you onto like a main road. And if you follow that road down, it brings you down this pathway to a massive, massive lake. Uh, the Lake de Parentis, I believe it's called. But on the left hand side here, you've got a little marina and all that sort of stuff. You've got boats and dock. And then over on that side, you've got a beach which we're going to go to the beach later, but I thought we'll get a walk under our belt first because he's due asleep. It's really, really, really nice. And at the end of this little walkway, brings you out into the Lake de Parentis, which is like a massive, massive, massive lake. So the campsite we're staying on, through pitch up, worked out to be about 16, 17 pound a night, but there is still plenty of airs and things like that about here where people can park so that one's like nine euros for 24 hours but for 16 pound a night why wouldn't you stay on a site with toilets showers swimming pool and all that sort of stuff this was something that we discovered the other day when we came for a walk around so i just want to show you so obviously there's that main beach by the lake but what there is when you're walking around the lake there seems to be lots of little, they're almost like private beaches. So I'll just try and show you this one down here. Don't you go anywhere. Obviously some bikes there, but almost like its own little segregated beach and there's loads of them and they're just dotted all around the outside of the lake there's like little alleyways through trees and stuff like that so this is southwest France south of Bordeaux weather wise I think we've been really lucky to be fair we've had a couple of rainy days but apart from that it's always been really warm we've definitely made uh, we've definitely made good use of the air conditioning so I don't know what we would have done without that. Another cool thing that we'd seen when we walked around the other day is like this little mini harbour. So there's an entrance for the water that just comes in here and it's like a little lagoon which has been carved out. It's very cool. And then just walking a little bit further around. It's this walkway that's literally right across the front. That's obviously there to guide the ships 
the guy the boat through the, the deeper water there and then straight in that lagoon they go. But how nice is this? The one on little private beaches I was talking about before. I mean, using the word private beach and that's a little bit extreme or whatever, but... So let's look at that. And another one of those little beaches over there, just dotted around the edge of the lake. This is the end of the campsite. So down there is the lake and down there is where we're going to go today. So this is sort of the centre of Parentis. So like a lot of places in France as memorials for the First and Second World War. And this is the, oh Jesus. And then this is, I'll go have a look up here. a lovely little town down there as well so it's about 20 minutes from where we were before which was the June Dupalat I must say it is very nice down here I love it in fact there's mum down there Just come around for them trees there, that, that, that church behind the crane. So we'll go up there in a second because once again that is one of the prettiest things you'll see. I'm not sure what this is, this is actually in the middle of the, at the grass square. And a little well there. Here's the church. Sometimes I've markets on on a Sunday, but don't look like there's a market on. Everything always feels dead old in France. Looks like someone's woke up. This is like a bit of a high street with some restaurants on and stuff like that. So it's out of season. Because when it's in season, it's probably quite a bit busier than this. That was the only place there where I could find that beer wasn't eight pound a pint, it was five euros a pint in there, which wasn't too bad. Open from 11 o'clock at night till 6 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. 23 at 6. Eight euros. It's not bad, that. The world's... Looks like something out of a, a horror film or... Or Stranger Things. And right by the abandoned house, looks like an abandoned football stadium. I'm trying to think where I was the other place we saw that football stadium, it was right up. Uh, Mount Tecla, that was it, yeah, right up in the hills. So that's, it's not a particularly massive town, 
but I don't think it's dubbed to be that or anyone says that it is that what it is it's a nice little place by the lake with a bit of a town or just down that road just over there takes you down to an Aldi and um, and a Super U so we found that quite a bit cheaper than the Intermarsh the Intermarsh you know they should be wearing a black and white jumper and a bag that says swag on it because it is quite expensive but Aldi's nice and cheap and the Super U's nice and cheap there's the the big man there just hanging about from the campsite to the town it's about a 25 minute walk and from the campsite to the the lake and the beach of the lake it's about a five minute walk so it's a pretty good location really for people that want to just get there put the motor home down and just leave it there so it's got a really good location all these really nice french architecture houses it's been quite stormy over there babe i think we probably pull stuff in tonight well this afternoon Another nice house there. More nice houses. Beef! 